Uh, my name is Ed Dudko, and I was an FBI agent for 29 and a half years. So in that regard, I was sent out to the Defense Language Institute in Monterey, California, where I studied Russian for a year, six hours a day for a year, with about six people in the class, with one instructor just going around the room. Uh, so it was pretty intense and pretty good, and got a pretty good inkling and uh, comprehension of the Russian language. Uh, with regard to the 1996 Olympics, now I, as I previously mentioned, I retired in the Bureau in 94, and after my retirement I took a job as the official title was the venue security manager for the Olympic Games for the Atlantic Committee uh, of the Olympic Games uh, for the yachting events that would take place in Savannah. Uh, my second assignment, as you asked previously, was in Charlotte, North Carolina. The incident you referred to, a bombing at a drive-in movie theater, I was out with the agent in the car and we received a call a uh, report to this drive-in movie. We responded to the movie theater and we went to the projecting bo booth and uh, there was a bomb. And everybody was having a great time and um, they were about to start a new song and it, bam, at, you know, just a really loud noise and then we saw people bleeding. There was steel hitting uh, The reason for it was, again, the civil rights era and all that that went through, and we're in North Carolina. It was a hotbed for the Ku Klux Klan, and as a result, the uh, civil rights people that were against it, if you will, and that uh, put the bomb in the theater to show their displeasure. So that was a moment where it was a little angst in seeing an actual bomb there. Uh, near the end of my career, I actually did, for the most part, a major in being a recruiter for the FBI. And in that regard, I would actually go out and visit in the southeast region from Savannah, various universities in our territory and in South Carolina and Florida as well, uh, speaking at the colleges, giving the requirements for the FBI. I would attend career days. It was always fun to bring new people in, and it just remembered when I first, again, as I mentioned, was recruited, how uh, great the outfit was. You want to share it, and hopefully you could bring somebody on board that they, in turn, can enjoy the career you know, that you had. With regard to keeping in contact and having people uh, in the FBI that you still keep contact with and that taught you along the way, oh yes, that was so important. And in the FBI, what you build up with your fellow agents, just remember uh, a call comes and you're going to have to maybe respond and make an arrest and there's somebody at the front door and somebody at the back door and somebody has to have your back or you have to have somebody's back. So you rely on people not just for professional working, but actually for your own personal safety. Uh, and I'm being a retired agent now, I still keep in contact with retired agents in the area. And uh, literally my closest friends are our fellow FBI agents. I think the the challenge of the job itself, the great people that you work with, and working in conjunction to sometimes do some terrific work and bring it together and get a rewarding conclusion, just just kept you on your toes. You just loved your you just loved your work and uh, the people you work with.